are reopening? I think it's a great question. So the way I look at it, I look at the data. Let, let's tr stick straight to the data. And the data says that the more medical problems you have and the older you are, in particular past the age of 55, you're particularly vulnerable. Look at the New York City data that came out with 4,000 patients. And they surveyed and they found that people with multiple medical problems and over the age of 55 were the most likely to have a terrible course in the hospital and even die. Those people should be particularly careful about venturing out. And if they do venture out, they really need to adhere to the, the mask, the protocols of uh, hand hygiene and everything in terms of distancing. People that are younger may want to uh, move forward a bit faster than them. And I think it might be a bit more reasonable because they're the ones that if they get COVID are likely to survive it or maybe have a milder illness. And then, of course, if they come into contact with those those people in that that high risk group, um, that is that that's always the concern. Uh, with the easing of restrictions, doctor, do you anticipate another surge in two, three, four weeks' time? I, I see multiple apex, uh, or, or our term is apices, uh, more than one apex as we move forward. This apex we're talking about now is only one statistical curve and plateau in time. When you release social distancing, there will be another surge because everybody will serve as patient zero again and that start reinfecting or infecting, I should say, people that have never had COVID and you'll see another apex. And that might go down again and then we'll see another apex as we go back and forth between mitigating social distancing as we see uh, the fatality rate go up, unfortunately. Doctor, you work in a, a Chicago hospital. You are obviously on the front lines. Uh, how are you coping? And uh, are you seeing improvements where you are? Uh, it's I'm emotionally and physically exhausted. And uh, it, when I'm not working, my wife is uh, a mother baby nurse and she's on the unit taking care of now COVID positive mothers, some of which are very, very critically ill. And uh, the, the numbers in Chicago continue to go up. Um, in the inner city, we're seeing complete hospitals full with all their vents taken up, all their ventilators taken up, and many, many people on this um, on this uh, type of mechanism called ECMO, which is basically heart and lung bypass, which is the last thing they can do before uh, pronouncing someone dead. Um, and in our own uh, suburban uh, Chicago community hospitals where I work at uh, four different ones, um, one of my institutions were almost full with vents with 80 people in-house positive for COVID. It, it's challenging and now, multiple nurse colleagues of mine in the ER are either admitted or at home with COVID. These are challenging times to say the least. Well, we commend you uh, for your work and, and everything that you do. Dr. Raj Kelsey, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. The US Army says it's wrapping up its mission at a New York